Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos talking all about spirituality and relationships and metaphysics and so, so much more. So I am in a different position for this video because I'm holding my baby and she is asleep and I don't want to wake her. And other parents will really understand this kind of battle. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay in this situation and we're gonna talk all about incompatibility because something that I've started to realize for myself is that there are certain non-negotiables and stuff and I actually listed my non-negotiables for my partner then when we got together I said like these are my non-negotiables and I will not negotiate with them <laughs> can you accept them so like I feel like there's certain things where we cannot settle we cannot lower our standard for they are non-negotiable and they're things that we have to list out at the beginning of relationships especially if you want to save yourself some pain in the long run and I've come to realize for myself that like there's certain things where it can seem like there's only one thing that's wrong or there's only like one issue that comes up but if that issue is a non-negotiable or if that issue is something that's quite big something that causes major disagreements or a major disconnect then it doesn't matter if it's just one thing or 50 million things it means the relationship either is not going to work out or there's a lot of communication that needs to happen and i think a lot of times we settle for connections because we believe that there's not that many bad things like there's not that many things wrong so we can tolerate this or it's not that bad so we can put up with it but in reality when you actually look at what that one thing is if it's a non-negotiable like is it a non-negotiable is it something that's huge is it something that causes major disagreements because you're not on the same page is it something where you're actually so incompatible even though it's just one thing like are you really actually just incompatible because that thing that you aren't compatible on is something that you can't settle for is something that you really ultimately need in your relationships or something that you really don't want to have in your relationships or whatever it may be like is it something that is a deal breaker? Is it something that's gonna cause complete disconnect because it's not something that you can agree on or something that you can get on the same page as? Like, if it's that big, then even if it's just one thing, chances are it's not meant to be, chances are you're forcing it, chances, chances are this relationship is not actually in alignment because we all have certain things that we need, like certain things that are our values, things that are important to us and if you can't get on the same page with something that's actually really important to you, then maybe that relationship is not actually in alignment and not something that is gonna continue on in the future. Like maybe it's not something that you can carry on living in. Cause I feel like we get in these dynamics where we spend lifetimes, like we will spend 50 years in a relationship that doesn't support us or in a relationship where there's such a disconnect you know and we're not really on the same page but we just kind of put up with it and we tolerate each other and it's not actually benefiting either person because you could meet somebody where that thing's not an issue and you actually are in alignment with whatever this non-negotiable is you could meet somebody where you're really in alignment with it and it can be so liberating and feel so good, you know? And if you continue settling in these relationships where it's not there and it's not in alignment and it's not present and you're not on the same page, then you're really just like limiting yourself and stifling yourself. And I've definitely done this before, especially in terms of my music. I've been with somebody that didn't support my music and now I'm with somebody that also makes music so not only supports it but makes it himself and like that difference is so huge that when I was in the old relationship I didn't realize just how negatively it was affecting my mood and my mindset and my belief in myself you know like my self-esteem was being affected because the person wasn't supportive so like 
we don't realize when we're in it how huge and how much of an impact it has on our well-being until you get in a situation where it's the opposite and where the person really does support you and then you're like oh my god I can't believe I could have had this I can't believe that I like settled and tolerated somebody that didn't have the same values as me and wasn't on the same page as me and wasn't supportive of me being who I am and being authentic like they weren't even allowing me to be my authentic self so how could I ever have thought that that was all I could get you know how could I ever have settled for this and really just put up with incompatibility when I could have had somebody that was actually compatible with me on all levels and not just a few levels, you know? Because there's so many times where we get in relationships and we're compatible on a few things and those few things are so exciting that we let that completely overshadow and take over everything else and we stop looking at the rest of it. We stop seeing the full picture and we think that just like a little bit of compatibility is enough. When in reality, you can have the full whole thing you can have complete alignment if you were to open yourself up to it and stop saying yes to basically like the bare minimum or just saying yes to a few things that are good when you can have everything you know you can have all of your needs met and you can have everything that you actually want in a relationship instead of settling and that doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect because of course nobody is perfect there's still disagreements but just the way that we handle the disagreements and stuff like we can get on the same page with it we can understand our values values and our standards and things that we just will not accept at all like if you're on the same page with that then there can be way less disrespect you know way less clashing and like blow ups that are huge and get out of proportion because you now know how to handle each other and how to handle each other's flaws as well as your own you know how to take accountability for your own flaws and to really work on the areas that need improvement and stuff so that you don't end up in toxic ass relationships that are not healthy and not beneficial and you just kind of get stuck in trauma loops and stuck in toxic dynamics and even abusive dynamics and stuff you know so yeah it's just really important to pay attention to compatibility and incompatibility to know what you want know your standard to know what your non-negotiables are and to not settle just because you think it's one thing or it's not that bad like the fact that it's happening the fact that it's continuing to happen and you're not able to get on the same page whether if you're not able to learn how to communicate with each other and you keep going round and round in this cycle of like trying to fix things but it just not working then maybe it's just not meant to be you know that there's only so hard that you can work at certain things if you're just continuously butting heads and not getting on the same page then maybe it's just not in alignment for you and if it was then hopefully you'll be able to actually communicate about these things and work through it together and go in the same direction but if you're not really going in the same direction then like how long do you want to spend like that essentially and I've definitely done that too I think it's just a case of like how long do you want to stay like this how long are you willing to put up with this and I've done that for years and put up with it for years and then there's been other times where I've clocked it from the jump and been like nah do you know what I mean so it's just it's up to you at the end of the day nobody can force you to do anything so you just evaluate your relationship for yourself and figure out exactly what you want and what you're willing to do about it you know so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions and you can also join our telegram group chat you can also whatsapp me my phone number is in the description box below as well as links to my music my crystal jewelry and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video i hope you have the best week bye Love it how you move me forward Move me forward Tell them that you're all my mind